Hello, One Piece Chapter 1047 just came out. I'm Victor D, by the way, like Willow D, because we smile and try to have fun with One Piece here. That being said, let's read Chapter 1047. What is it called? Uh, Disguise Above the Capital. Okay, I skipped that cover page. We see Momo, Nami, uh, Chopper, Robin. Okay, everyone's having fun at a beach party. <laughs> Jim is asleep like an uncle. <laughs> and also Brooks asleep too. Okay, let's get to, let's get on to the chapter. <sighs> okay, it's been two weeks. Okay, you can do it, Mama Nosekun. An outburst of faith. Um, make make those cl flame cl clouds, make those flame clouds. Easier said than done. This is impossible. They refuse to come out, no matter how hard I try. So Mama was still trying to save the capital. I mean, yeah, the capital. Yeah, I can't. Momonosuke, go with Kinemon and the others. I am certain you will be able to revive the Kazuki clan after you leap 20 years into the future. I can't! Bob was crying. If I go, if I have to go, you and Hiyori should come with me, mo with me, mother. Yeah, I was actually wondering why Hiyori didn't come with him. It seems like she was like hedging her bet, but we'll see. We'll see what Toki's plan was. Momonosuke-sama, think about your mother's feelings. This is the land of samurai. When art one suffers a great failure here, their life is usually forfeit. No man should question the resolve of a woman who speaks with such conviction, even though he's a kid. He's not a man. Nothing could be more shameful, says Kinemon. Well, I'm not a man. I'm just a kid. <laughs> Look, the wisdom, the wisdom of a little kid. My lord, with all due respect, with Lord Odin gone, you are no longer just his heir. If I can speak freely, I beg you to give us another chance to fight. I would rather die with honor on battlefield than wait here and burn to death. Can't you give us that chant? I would do anything to wield my sword for you, my lord. Monosuke. Sniff. Mom. <laughs> Everyone's crying. Mother. Mother, I, I will be on my way now. Yes. So did Toki die or not? Did Toki die or not? <laughs> I would never be able to face mother if I left things like this. Stop. Stay away from the capital! Stop, damn it! You grabbed the lightning? How ridiculous! Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Everyone was talking about that last two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Gomu go no Thunderbolt! And then Luffy's still he's still wildin'. <laughs> Do you see the, the cartoony jagged thunderbolt? I mean lightning bolt going towards um Kaido? And then Kaido dodges, easy. Oh my god, are we gonna finally get his awakening? What was the chapter title called again? The Skies Above the Capital. Okay, so this one's not gonna be about the awakening, I think. Um, okay, going back. You can you can keep playing around if you want. Huh? Huh? But, ah! And he hits Luffy, Luffy goes flying. But then he grabs onto the lightning bolt as it's coming down. Jam damn, like people are talking about lightning timers. Luffy is literally a lightning timer at this point. So he roll, he like spins around it like a pole. The lightning. What? What is go? What? <laughs> what? What? In the end, a strong double fruit power isn't enough to conquer these seas. Yeah, of course, Luffy made the the double power fruit power strong. No, I don't. I, I highly doubt anyone else could do what Luffy's doing with his devil fruit at this point. Gomu Gomu no! And then he gets stopped. Luffy gets stopped. Okay. He gets hit by another unnamed attack, but I feel like that's a Ragnarok. Um, okay. Look at Roger. He had no food power and still brought the world to, he to heal. Okay. <laughs> Confirmed! The Roger had no fruit. Ro Roger didn't have the devil. The Roger didn't have the Gomu Gomu no me. No me. So that's cool. I like that confirmation. But yeah, Luffy gets slammed. Oh, his face gets caved in just like he caved in Kaido's face a chapter or two ago, I believe. Then Luffy gets smacked down into the ground and it creates a crater? No, oh, no, it creates a, like a, a rubber crater. He just bounces off again. Like it bends. Whoa! Such hurdles can over only be overcome. I don't know if Luffy made that crater right now. Like he, he made it with his power or it's just, it's been like that. It's a little dark. I mean... Oh, that's way better. I should have turned... I did that earlier. Okay. Whoa! Such hurdles can only... Oh... <laughs> Such hurdles can only be overcome with hockey. Oh, I like it. I like it. 
Like, emphasis on hockey. Luffy's trying to block with his hockey. Death Destroyer! Thunder Bagua! Referenced to Daitoku Myo Aka Yamantaka. Another one of Buddhism's wisdom kings. He is known for, be- for besting the god of death, Enma Yama. Then Luffy looks like he's out, but Looney Tunes out. But then he still grabs Kaido. And he's grabbing him in a way that, like, he's, like, grabbing a jacket or something. Because he's, like... M- like, yeah, it's like, like, some, like some type of clo- cloth. Like, Kaido's skin is turning into cloth or something. Or, like, you know, rubber. Um, rumble from the sky. So he's pulling him into the clouds. And then Kaido's trying to take his hand off of him. He hits his hand. Let go! You've given away your position! Oh, he's saying that. Um, Dragon Twister Demolition Breath. Oh, so then he's, he's hitting him with what he hit the scabbards with and cut Kiku's arm with. Seems you're still weak to slashing attacks, of course. Uh, But Luffy is somehow tanking them. It's going through his arm, it seems. But, like, his arm's not getting cut completely off. Go on, reach the souls of the departed. Lift off, so we're cutting back. Watch the sky lanterns fly. Up, up, and away! The festival is going to end soon. So everyone's celebrating. And when the sun rises, we'll be slaves again. Oh, we think I shouldn't say that happily. <laughs> and when the sun rises, we'll be slaves again. But for now, they're having fun. Up, up, and away. Up, up, and away. I really hope I manage to survive for the next year. That's like, even though they're really happy, that's like incredibly sad. I hope I survive ne- until next year. Yeah. So the lanterns are flying away, just like in Tangled. People are playing the traditional Japanese instruments, the shamisen. The, I think that's a flute. So that's not really a traditional instrument, but yeah. Up, up, and away. You see Toko smiling with, uh, I forgot what his name is, but yeah. Which everyone thinks is the previous um, shogun. Please, reach daddy. Okay, so are the lanterns going to hit the island? Uh, Onigashima? Um, let go of me. Get down here, straw hat. Then Luffy's back to being completely darkened, burnt to a crisp. Um, ah, cough. <coughs> Dome interior. We're cutting again. We're cutting away again. Okay. Boss Shogoro, are you all right? The whole island is falling. <laughs> that just means Kaido is at the end of his rope, so Hyo's happy. Listen, all of you. Think, which outcome would you prefer? Sir Straw Hat defeating Kaido would result in the island falling and all of us plummeting to our deaths. On the other hand, Kaido coming out on top would only give us a little cl- excuse me a little longer to cling to our lives well when you put it that way seems like when you put it like that it seems like a no-brainer i have a kid in hakuma my wife is down in ringo if sir straw hat wins they can all live their lives in peace so, so everyone's kind of resigning themselves to death as long as they as they get to protect the people that they love and i like that i really do like that We'd never, we'd never be able to repay him. Our country would finally be back to normal. Straw Hat-san, don't mind us. Go all out and take Kaido down once and for all. The <laughs> kid's face is like, ugh. Power of friendship? Ugh. <laughs> Do you samurai have a screw loose? We're all done for. And? So what if we are? Because they're going to die with honor. It's a big thing. Basement. I don't want to die. And then we get like complete opposite Usopp. Of course, he doesn't want to die. I want to die! Ouch! You think this is going to kill me? I'm surviving this no matter what. And then they're getting flooded by water. Oh, there you go. So the water has finally reached from what Jinbei and Raizo did in last chapter. Um, whoa, water! Treasure repository, second floor. Hey, it's finally out. The tremor made the sea stone nail come out and come loose. So he's coming out. Of course, we got to defeat... <laughs> I guess Orochi's not dead, but we gotta defeat Orochi while he has his full powers, I guess. Damn you! At least this way, I can take you with me! Are you watching, Odin? Your dear daughter is going to accompany me to hell! Hey, Momo! Huh? Luffy? What? That's a... That's a huge fist. That's like a... That's like a... What is that? Kung Fu Hustle? The Kung Fu Hustle palm? But it's a fist? <laughs> Oh, it's come, it's fully hockeyed up too. It's the blackened fist, dude. Holy crap! How much hockey does that take? That's way more hockey than Luffy has ever used, I believe. I'm finishing this for good. 
Onigashima is in the way. Move it. Is he prepared to punch through the island? Luffy, hold on. Momo, I know you've got this. What? So Luffy is definitely like leaving it all to Momo. The fallout from the mighty blow. So that's it. Holy crap. I read that really quickly. But yeah, if you guys like the reaction, like it. Uh, I thought the chapter was really good. Can't wait for the next one. Next up is Reddit reaction. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching my little video. You guys have a good one. Peace.